Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, I want to keep it short today because really the Bitcoin chart is probably the least interesting at the, mo <laughs> at the moment. A lot of altcoin charts are more interesting, so I'd rather use that time for some additional altcoin updates. Um, still wanted to give you obviously your Bitcoin update because it's important. And the chart is still consolidating, I think, on a pretty, pretty high level. Still consolidating on a pretty high level. We still have this triangle pattern. It looked yesterday a little bit as if we were going to see a bit of a breakout there to the upside. In my last video, I think I highlighted to you that um, the triangle was technically complete, technically complete. The bulls just needed to um, turn up basically. Um, and we then saw a bit of a green candle, but we never made it above the breakout point. So I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more detail now. Feel free to check out yesterday's videos. I think I covered in both the daily chart briefly. So feel free to check it out. It gives you an idea of the context. But in this video, I just want to focus on this short term price action. So we obviously had um, from this swing low that was formed on the 24th of February, we, we can only see three waves up. We might be able to count it as five. So I will not rule out that we've topped already. I will not rule that out. So one second, what's um, here? This third, this fourth, and we, we might have topped already. Yeah. If, if we've topped, not my preferred option, then we probably saw something like, I don't know, an, a larger A. This could be a B wave triangle, okay? And then we see a C wave down. That could be part of a larger A wave. Then we see a larger B and a larger C. That's how I, how I could imagine we are topping. And then we should, however, see a breakdown now, okay? Then we should see a breakdown now. Then the basically um, a small A. This B wave would be the triangle. B waves can be triangles, okay? I don't see it as a B wave triangle primarily, but it's just something I wanted to make you aware of. If we break down now, then this is likely the pathway we are going to follow. We are in a region in which I believe a top has formed or is forming. I don't really think it's formed yet, which is why in the preferred scenario on the micro level, one more high is, um, I think, a, a reasonable expectation. Looks to me like consolidation on a pretty high level, which is definitely good for the altcoin sector. So we see a lot of altcoins basically just randomly move. I, I have no capacity to cover them all, so <laughs> please be aware of that. But I give you as many support levels as possible, um, give you an idea of the trend. But yeah, best to keep in mind that in a bullish market, pullbacks can be shallow and the uptrend can extend. An extended, let's say an extended wave to the upside cannot be predicted, but it basically has to be assumed. You have to be ready for it. So don't get too small with your positions. Okay, don't be an all in, all out person. Now, essentially, that's up to you. But for me, it's much better to be like, when I take partial profits, then it's fine if it still carries on, right? Um, so I like to be sort of scaling in, scaling out. Okay. Um, we are still holding above support though. So I don't at the moment assume we've topped. On the daily chart, you see that we are basically close to important resistance. So we could be in an area where we're topping, but still though, the microstructure suggests that one more high is possible. And I will assume that this is the case as long as the 57,100 level is holding, the 50% FIP level, as long as that level is holding, the structure remains intact. But ideally, I mean, this is a triangle ideally, and ideally we go up more directly. So first indication we're breaking out, and basic, by the way, like a triangle is an A, B, C, D, E structure. So it's technically complete. Triangles can always extend, but as long as we don't break below the, I mean, the A wave low was here at 58,000. So that is the invalidation point of the triangle. We will all also, one second, let me zoom in a bit. Is that that level actually? Um, the invalidation, but yeah, I mean, yeah, this was probably the beginning of the triangle here. So 58K, as long as this level stays intact, the triangle is valid and could simply extend. The C wave flow ideally isn't even broken anymore because then it would extend, which is at 60,050, but the triangle can always extend, okay, as long as it stays valid. So I just gave you that invalidation point. It could, for example, be that you know, this C wave is still unfolding and then we get something like that. This is how, for example, that triangle could extend over the weekend. Absolutely. And the C wave could be a simple A, B, C structure. So we shouldn't try to guess the exact shape of this triangle. And, and you know, 
I can't tell you yet it's complete because, yeah, technically, I think we have enough waves in place to call it complete. Let's adjust the trend line here a bit. But it can always extend. Okay, that's what triangles do. So we can really only say a triangle is complete once it's broken in the desired direction, which is, a, well, up, at least the way I count it right now. And then the triangle would be a wave 4. And I would need a break above the B wave height to confirm that's at 63,670. And I need a break above the D wave height to, yeah, suggest it, to indicate that's at 63,160. Until then, we can always get further extensions. There's no sign it's bottomed, but I think it's the time to be ready and to be watching it. It's You could also call that a bullish pennant, which often would suggest a break to the upside. Um, 68k would be the next main level to watch. Now, we know in Elliott Wave that until we get a signal here, that this could simply be an internal triangle. The Wave 4 has plenty of space in the support area. And as I said, it could be a B Wave triangle and the Wave 4 could simply be an A Wave. This could be an A, B, C, D, E in a B Wave triangle. And then we break down. So that's always it can always be an internal triangle, right? But I think it would work well as a wave four triangle. So please be aware. And, and whatever, I mean, this is just discussing the nano count, the micro count. They are not so predictive. What's really important is to understand where is support and do the bulls turn up before we break below 57,100. So that's really the key level here. Yeah, that's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.